Good morning, this is May Valensky with Driving Markets. I hope you're all enjoying the videos and we're gonna actually end up doing a lot more going forward. So if you haven't subscribed, please, please subscribe now. So what I wanna talk about today is the action in Bitcoin over the weekend. On Saturday night, Bitcoin printed out at around about the 17,800. It dropped all the way down from 20,000 on Friday close to 17,800. And then at midnight on Saturday to Sunday, it jumped up to above 20,000. So obviously at 17,000, 17,500, there's a big support level there. But you could see Bitcoin falling further because you've got a lot of lot investment funds that are invested or margined or leveraged on Bitcoin. So let's just discuss what that means, leverage and margined. What it means is that you don't buy the whole asset with full price. What you do is you pay full price, but you only fund it partly, whether it's 30% or 50% or 70% on the view or on the hope that you don't need to put in all the money to get full exposure of that particular asset. And then if it goes up, you've only put in part money down as security money, as funding money, as a deposit in order to actually buy and trade that particular asset. And what's happening now, because there's been a, a significant drop in Bitcoin, then what's likely to happen and is happening with all of the funds, the hedge funds and the investment funds, is that they are getting margin calls. That means they're being called up by the exchange to fund more money to support the trade, something along the lines like MicroStrategy, which owns 129,000 Bitcoins. I would say minimum 129,000 Bitcoins because Michael Saylor, the CEO of MicroStrategy, has put the strategy of the company into buying and trading Bitcoin. He's such a big follower of it. He put, got so much faith in the actual currency in order to break the banks that he's pouring hundreds of millions into Bitcoin. Now, if the bet works out, he's going to do very, very well. And MicroStrategy is going to end up owning hundreds of thousands of Bitcoins. And when or if it goes back up to 30, 40, 50, 60,000 uh, dollars a coin, then MicroStrategy will be worth a fortune. On the other hand, if your view is that Bitcoin is going to come down or the virtual currencies are simply too high risk, then he will have a margin call and end up having to fund put in or liquidate mid tens of millions to either support his position or as I said liquidate his position. Now you've got sitting on the sidelines a lot of hedge funds and a lot of investors and investment funds that are on margin and could end up having to close their positions and also some of the platforms whether they're swap platforms exchange platforms or lending platforms like Babel, like Coinbase, like Gemini, like um, uh, which other ones were there, Binance, all these, all these platforms, whether they are exchanges or whether they are uh, lending platforms, are looking like they're getting into trouble by suspending withdrawals or swaps in their particular platform and that is causing nervousness amongst the investors uh, what would you do if you could not get your money out of a particular platform the first thing you do is stop trading the second thing you do is look to close out your position and say what can i do to get my money back and get the money out of that particular exchange so it's causing a lot of nervousness which is understandable amongst the regular investor and also amongst the big hedge funds so that's what a bit of background regarding bitcoin i personally believe that bitcoin has got a lot more to go probably all the way down to ten thousand, and then it may look attractive enough to become a buy um the views are varied and the views are wide. Regarding financial markets, the US is closed today for Juneteenth Day, uh, which is closed. It was closed. The European markets are open. They're showing a slight up on where we were on Friday. Um, take into account that Italy has warned that there may be power outages or power cuts in Italy due to lack of energy. Can you believe it? In 2022. Also in the UK, there's uh, rumors of potential uh, blackouts and in Europe due to the energy crisis. So you're gonna expect a lot more volatility 
and you're going to expect a lot more inflation as those energy as those energy resources become more and more scarce and the demand for them increases especially over now the scorching summer in Europe where temperatures are reaching sky high and the air conditionings are working non-stop as regards foreign exchange markets you've got to look at the dollar the dollar is an absolute buy long term it's going to be a safe haven and it's just going to get stronger so keep an eye on the dollar i think it's a great investment or uh, that's for long term of course and if it's short term it could be a great trade because it's going to show particular strength against all the majors going forward especially the yen the dollar yen is at an um, almost i think it's more than 20 year high and the yen looks extremely weak and it looks like it's the policy of the bank of japan to keep on making it particularly weak so the dollar yen is at a 20 year plus all-time high regarding shares you've got the highs of the, the high growth high tech sector the amazons the teslas they're very vulnerable going forward and it could see a lot more action there in my opinion all of them are going down significantly i think we're in for a complete realignment across the board on shares on fx on virtual currencies and on property okay expect that to go down as well over the next 12 months and to continue going down as regards metaverse i'm not a fan i think it's a load of trash and if i was you i wouldn't put your money into it i think it's just a complete and utter loser okay you can subscribe catch me on youtube catch me on instagram catch me on twitter catch me on linkedin you've got all the media there you can whatsapp me message me and i'm more than happy to give you my opinion everything said on this piece of course is an opinion and many people will differ from it may driving markets have a good day